Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the A12 from Samsung. But if you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe and get notified. But if you're already part of the crew, salute. Alright guys, so this is the American version of the Samsung Galaxy A12 and it's going to give us 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage. The, uh, the, the model number is here, you could tell because the A25F is the 3 gigabyte version. This is the 4 gigabyte version as you can see right here. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and take a look at this in a little bit more detail. I'm going to cut open the box show you guys what comes inside um, you know we'll test out the display and you know things of that nature so okay so let's open that up and see what comes inside for the very first time put this off to the side right here and you're greeted with the box it does say Samsung Galaxy was well, just Samsung right here, all white box, nothing else. This little pull tab right here. You're greeted with the phone right here. Let's put this down for one second and take a look at what comes inside of this. All right, so there's a lot of paperwork in here. You got your quick start guide. You got your warranty card. And that's pretty much it for this one. So let's put this one off to the side. I'm gonna put it right here. All right, let's grab the phone itself. It says a 6.5 quadruple camera with a fingerprint. So this is the American version, guys. Okay, as you can see, wow, everything's there. So the first thing I noticed is that they just included everything in here. So you have your phone right here. I'm gonna put this down first. Wow, this has some weight to it. Oh, that looks pretty cool. You get your charging brick right here, fast charger. That's really not to get your SIM remover tool. A pair of headphones in here, guys. I wasn't expecting all of this. So you can see right here, they do include, wow, these headphones look pretty decent. Has the Samsung branding on them. So quality stuff there. I like how they did that. And then, you do get your type C uh, as well. So you can see right here, we do have the phone itself and let's go ahead and take a look at it in a little bit more detail. I'm going to take the phone out of the sleeve. And cool. This, this actually has a nice weight to it. Um, you can see the quadruple camera setup, side mounted fingerprint sensor. Let's give this, this is the power button. I'm going to give it some juice. And you can see right there the logo on the front for Samsung. So as you can see right here, it's going to actually boot up. But the overall material, there's like a two tone. You get this gradient on the top and then you have on the bottom it feels like almost like the Samsung Galaxy Halo I used to have back in the day. That's pretty crazy. And then up top, it's like another texture. All right, guys, so this isn't in, it's in a, another language right here, as you can see. Let's go to English. Wait. Why English should be at the top? Canadian. How many Englishes are there? Wow, that's crazy. Okay, cool. And right here it says, let's go. So you, you can see we, we have all our options here, guys. Click that. And it says that you can get started. And first you have to read all the terms and conditions. It has the Wi-Fi set up right here, but all together, the guys, this is 264 pixels per inch, 720 by 1560, HD plus display on here, guys. So it's a medium density display. It has the Helio P35 on here. So 
we'll test that out and just check it out and see if it's actually going to be pretty decent for the camera and everything like that. Also, the performance we'll check out. But this is just the unboxing. I went, kind of went to show you guys what came inside the box and the initial setup process. But you do get 64 gigabytes of internal storage. You do get an independent SD card slot on here. Uh, facial recognition, side minor fingerprint sensor as well. You can see right here. So a lot of cool things on this phone, guys. Uh, you do get an accelerometer, light sensor, proximity sensor, and also you do get your fingerprint, guys. So, you know, no LED light or anything like that. Let's skip all of this for now. And I just kind of want to show you the home screen and everything like that. But um, so far, it feels pretty good in the hand. Nice weight to it. Uh, what was that? And then... Um, it has a flash on the back as well. And look at the bezels right now. It's not showing me the the drop on the top while it's setting it up. So this is the basically how it would look when it's setting up. Uh, it says one second. So it's a 48 megapixel on the back, five megapixel as well for wide angle. You get a two megapixel for portrait and another two for telephoto lens. That's pretty crazy telephoto lens on here on a budget phone under $200. Look at the chin, the forehead, Samsung UI 2.0, I believe is on here. Let me just check that. Um, but let me just see. Okay, so when we go to about phone, it says right here that the software information, we have uh, one UI core version 2.5 and Android 10. On, on this device, guys. So let me just show you that. So it's the 2.5 on here, guys. And um, Android 10, you get your dark mode, you get your flashlight, you get your do not disturb nearby share Adobe Atmos. Uh, let's go into more right here and button order. Okay, dark modes on here. Uh, no NFC on board, it looks like, but, you know, I wasn't expecting it to be on here, but, you know, Netflix, Spotify, Samsung Notes, Samsung Goals, Game Launcher. Uh, four gigabytes of RAM should be really good for this device, but uh, this is just the initial setup, guys. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this phone. It looks really good in my hand. Look, the screen looks nice, uh, medium density display. Uh, it's a 720 display, so just keep that in mind, guys. It's not going to be like the most sharpest display I ever looked at, but 19 by 59 aspect ratio, HD plus 15 by 60 and 720p. So we got that water drop notch, like I said before. You know what I mean? Uh, let's take a, take a look at the camera, and then we'll wrap up the video. So I just I'm gonna open up the camera real quick, and okay. It says looking for more modes. Let me show you. So we have wide angle right there. Live focus. So you can get to your wide angle. This is swipe the shutter button at the edge to, to take burst shots and things of that nature. Get your wide angle on your video, panorama macro pro mode, deco pick, and um, a whole lot more. Let me see. Let's go into settings right here. And it says right here on the front, this is the video resolution, 30 frames, 720. So it goes up to 720. It has the buttons, not the gestures right now, but you can get the gestures since this is Android 10. But um, we're gonna be looking at this in a whole lot more detail. This is just my first look at this thing, but I do like the buttons here on the sides. Um, we can set up the fingerprint later on, test that out, but this is, does have a nice feel to it as far as the click. Uh, when you long hold, you can get your, your wallpapers and things of that nature as well. And right here it says my wallpapers. So you have pretty much a lot of them to choose, a few of them to choose from, nothing crazy. 
But let me know what you guys think down below and I'll get right back with you guys. But it's your boy Serrano. I'll check you guys out on the next video. I'll get right back with you later. Group peace.